Well after all this time of running the Tarantula X6 with the gimbal on and the camera and uh, off the battery doing all those long flights and everything finally I've actually stripped the gear um, just this one here is completely bald but the Tarantula being the Tarantula it still tries to fly which is absolutely amazing if I give it a blip it won't run but if I actually still try and fly and you can tell by the noise this is not a very happy uh, uh, quad okay so um, just to show you how bad that is there we go she's not touching anything at all there so when she's got a little bit of turn on it manages to grab the next bit of the cog and spin it round and she was flying stable it was just the noise that was giving it away as the uh, sort of problem arising um, this has been extremely well used, if you've seen any of my other videos, um, this quad has been through everything and it keeps coming back for more awesome piece of kit. Um, just going to use our trusty little Phillips screwdriver um, and it's so worn it's not even pulling it out, um, it hasn't even got a sort of th thread there to be honest, as you can see it's uh, well gone. So I'm just going to use a, a very small screwdriver. And there's a little tiny hole under here that I can push it through and then I can push the screw out. I'm not trying to do this so it's all on camera, a bit different. There we go. There we go. Oh, I was hoping that would <laughs> I would use the little Phillips one to get it out, but that just shows how stripped that gear and cog is. And this couldn't be easier to, to take apart. Just got to get it through there. There we go. And, oh, it's actually pulled the bearing out. No, I changed mine over for bearings. Uh, I've just seen why it's done it as well. There's a little burr come up just where the screw goes in. It's just pushed it out a wee bit. Um, so, but that's come back off. I just need to pop that back in. And there's bits of grass and all sorts in here. So probably good time to have a good clean up, I think. Yep. Um, so, and then I'll just swage them over. And there is a video that I did with uh, how to fit these bearings, um, whether or not they've made it last any longer, I don't know. I, I would hope so, anyway. Um, but uh, they're only about 70 pence each, I think, or about a dollar. Um, and, uh, well, my quad's been through a lot and it keeps going back, so it must be good. Um, basically, that's all I have to replace, really. It's just this cog. Um, I'll put the new one next to it. Um, you get four of these cogs for under three pounds. Uh, well, yeah, way under three pounds. I think they work out at about 60 pence each, um, which is amazing, I think. Um, a little stainless steel rod, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, and the new cog. Just move that a little bit so that hopefully you can see the difference with the old and the new cog. And uh, you can even see. There's, there's nothing there, it's smooth, um, which is incredible that it was still actually flying. Um, uh, very lucky it didn't drop out of the sky. And, and the reason it uh, stripped the gears was I was doing manual flips and I got caught in some long grass upside down and I didn't get the power off quick enough basically and I heard it just strip. So, uh, But I did give it a flight afterwards and it did fly. So, robust little things. Okay, so... Just going to pop our super new gear in and make sure the pinion doesn't come out at all on the motor. Um, these are the original motors, as I've probably said earlier in this. Um, everything is basically a wow, that is a huge difference. <laughs> I can still spin the motor, but by heck, that's uh, those gears are engaged properly, which is nice. I have a quick look at the uh, pinion gear on the, on the actual motor and that looks fine but that is brass so of course um, the design almost is to strip this uh, nylon gear if there's a, a problem like I had. So pop this back in, here we go, it's an easy way to hold it. Yep. Cool, that's a lot better than it was before. There we go. I'll just do that on the other three. Mm -hmm. 